Uh, good morning. Uh, there are different tips uh, available uh, and because of angulation, 45 degree tips uh, uh, does more sculpting, uh, but it is uh, awkward says. And 15 degree tips, uh, because almost round in shape, so it gives more occlusion than uh, trenching. And zero degree tip uh, gives occlusion only, it uh, does not give any trenching. And 30 degree tip is ideal for trenching. Mild to moderate uh, aspiration flow rate is required as there is no fallibility or uh, occlusion is required. Minimum vacuum is uh, required for uh, trenching as no occlusion and or required. Uh, we only need to uh, remove the uh, fine emulsified trench material. The power setting depends on the hardness of the nucleus. Harder the nucleus, uh, more preset energy to be uh, used. And greater the, uh, uh, harder the nucleus, more uh, energy to be used. And uh, in case of uh, softer nucleus, we need uh, softer energy like micropulses or torsional energy can be used. Deep exposure should be 1 to 1.5 millimeter for uh, ideal trenching. Trenching should start uh, just in front of the rexis margin and uh, it should stop on the other side just in front of that. If the cataract is hard, trench should be wide and long. And if the cataract is hard, more energy setting is to be required. In softer cataract, uh, very soft energy to be used and trench uh, should be short and narrow. Angle of attack, that is the angle between the anterior surface of the lens and the phaco needle. It should be 45 degree. If it is less, uh, we may superficially chip the nucleus and we also can injure the rexis margin. One third of the tip should be buried in the nucleus to get the perfect trenching. Energy, that is the resistance of the nucleus. If the nucleus is hard, more preset energy to be used during trenching. And in softer nucleus, less energy to be used. If we want to emulsify more nucleus at a time, we need to use more preset energy. If we bury the tip too much in the nucleus, it doesn't uh, trench, but it pushes the nucleus towards the periphery. And same thing happens if we press uh, less energy or be shy on the uh, paddle. Nucleus is uh, hard and so it is more thicker in the center. So, uh, more tissue to be trenched in the center, while coming back, no energy to be wasted. And more energy should be used during uh, trenching in the center. Every time we need to refocus the microscope to see uh, clearly while doing the drip trenching. Otherwise, we may create a hole in the uh, uh, posterior capsule. And with, during drip trenching, we need to remove small chips very carefully. If we uh, need to rotate the nucleus, we need to, uh, if we push it from the center of the trench, we get a very short, small uh, uh, lever arm. So it will be very difficult to rotate the nucleus. But if we you, uh, rotate from the end of the periphery of the tunnel, we get a bigger lever of arm, and so rotation will be easier. So when uh, one side of the trenching is complete, rotate the nucleus 180 degree to sculpt the upper part of the trench. Uh, we can uh, uh, use uh, Sinsky hook to uh, counterbalance the force of trenching. We're now coming to cracking. While cracking, place the two instrument at the deeper part of the trench and apply equal force uh, on either side at the deeper part of the tunnel. If we use more force in the uh, one direction, that will create attraction on the opposite zonule. If we try to divide the superficial part, it will not get a crack. The crack should be initiated from the periphery to the center. If the crack is incomplete, rotate the nucleus 180 degree and then it can be completed. 
If the uh, center is the hardest, so it is difficult to crack in the center. Moreover, we do not get a good fulcrum. This video demonstrates uh, how to do uh, right uh, trenching and cracking. The trenching is initiated just in front of the rexis margin at 12 o'clock and it should uh, stop just in front of the rexis margin at 6 o'clock. So one third of the needle should be engaged during trenching. When uh, one side is completed, we need to rotate. It is always better to rotate initially with using two instrument. And during doing the drip trenching, uh, we need to maintain a adequate uh, tunnel width. It should be uh, one to one point uh, five uh, times of the FECO needle width. And while doing drip trenching, we need to emulsify the fine uh, emulsified uh, nucleus. And every time we also need to do the uh, free focusing very carefully, otherwise we may create a hole. And place two instrument at the deeper part and cracking initiated from the periphery. If it is incomplete, rotate 180 degree and complete from the other side.